Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Today we're going to take a look at preparing um, to paint on this wainscot and this beadboard and chair rail. We'll be filling in nail holes. Uh, I'll also show you caulking to get ready and fill in gaps and cracks uh, so that it's uh, ready to paint. To get ready to fill in nail holes, I'm going to check over each of the nails with my finger. They should be recessed and set back in when I find one like right here or let's see right there there's another one that's sticking out just a little bit we'll need to put those uh, sink those in a little bit we're gonna use this counter sink so it's pretty straightforward little tool you could even use a nail to do it though that's a little bit more challenging we'll just tap them in okay here's one that's sticking up just a little bit so I'm going to put my nail set right on it and give it a good solid tap. Here's another one. Get my nail set in place. There we go. Alright, I'm getting ready to use some of this mini wax stainable wood filler. Uh, so this will go into each of the holes and then it's easy to sand down. Just gonna take a little bit of wood filler, put it right in the hole, finger, just like that. All right, here's some holes that have been filled. They've dried already. I'm taking 150 grit sandpaper and just smoothing it out. I could probably even use a finer grit, maybe 220. Okay, let's ready to put the caulk in. I'm using DAP white all-purpose acrylic latex caulk plus silicon. It's important to note this is a paintable caulk. So if it's non-paintable, you're just asking for trouble when it's an application like this where you're going to be painting over the surface. So be sure you've got paintable. And take a little bead. Okay. I'm getting my finger damp with a wet uh, paper towel here, a wet rag, and we'll run right along the edge. That should give us a pretty nice clean line. In a spot like this, I've got a gap to fill in. So we'll apply a caulk, follow the contour, and run my moist finger along it. Caulking can get really messy and leave you quite a mess to clean up if you're not careful, so use caution. Okay, I'm going to go down the length of this quarter round. Fairly fine bead of caulk, just like that. And now with my damp or moist finger, I'm going to run it right down. Got to clean it off. I'm getting a little excess. So I'm wiping my finger off when I get too much caulk on here. Just like that. Clean it off before continuing down with that caulk. Okay, thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY everyone. Hope you found this helpful. Um, if you've got questions, comments, please leave them. Let me know what worked for you, what didn't. Uh, also, like the video, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.